I've been cleaning my garage like crazy. Why? Because I bought something big. This is what I bought right here. Uh, I undid the uh, straps. I didn't think I was gonna make a video, but I said, ah, what the hell, I'll make a video. Because I plan on doing something a little different than just uh, using it how it is. So this is what I bought. Motorcycle lift but by uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, bought it from Harbor Freight. In Canada, I guess it would be uh, PA, uh, Princess Auto. So, uh, you know, it's, it's the same thing. But uh, I got it for like a little bit more than half off. So about 340 bucks. Uh, the original price is $699.99. So pretty good deal. I uh, went out one time when it was $299 and uh, it was on this, the big sale. Um, and they had six of them in stores, but by the time I got there at 5 uh, p.m., they were a lot of them. So I said, the hell with it. I'm driving out there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Hour drive, get there. They didn't even have it off the truck yet. You guys can probably start to understand why I've had to clean up my garage. just because this thing is absolutely huge. My garage is small. This is going to take up, like, I don't know, probably a quarter of my freaking garage. Well, they had to load it with a forklift, but I unloaded it all by myself. You can see I got a little blood there, um, so it was it was a little tedious, but uh, got her out. Weighs about 350 pounds. Um, I plan on making it bigger so I can fit my riding mowers and like my lawn mowers and like anything I want to on it, because the the weight capacity is like a thousand pounds. There ain't no motorcycle that weighs a thousand pounds unless you got like a V8 engine in it, you know. Well, I gotta sit you guys down because it's starting to sprinkle. Do want my new machine getting wet? I know my hair is screwed up, but uh, the only way I'm gonna get this thing in here by myself is if I put it on wheels, so I'm gonna see where the hell the wheels go. It even comes with a free sample of sandblasting sand. Look at that. So as you can see, I got the wheels on because I rolled it past you guys. But besides that, got the wheels on. So now I'm just going to look through that manual just for shits and giggles. And so then I'm not going to screw anything up and I can see how everything works. Because I got to freaking put on some stuff and I might as well just read. I got a college education. Might as well use it. Oh, damn. I put the damn left tire on the right and the right on the left. So it looks like I take this ramp and put it here. So that's the front, this is the back. I guess this is where you load it from. And I don't know why they have this access thing here unless I have to tighten down something to lock it in. But I figured it was for oil because that would make good sense, you know, have, have this thing up and if you want to drain your oil, you just take that out and bam. Alright, I got that ramp on. Now it says we have to uh, put that front piece on. Oh, I'm sorry. But honestly, after I'm done with it, I don't think it's gonna look much like it is, except for it's gonna have wider, wider uh, panels here, uh, so I can get my four wheeler and lawnmowers on here. And I might actually, when I weld that up, frickin' egg, I'm gonna kill myself tripping over this funnel. That ain't give me enough frickin' shit, bastard. I can see why Harbor Freight can afford to sell this stuff to cheap. Because they don't give you half the freaking pockets. <laughs> you know how when you were a kid 
you know, batteries weren't included on just about everything. Well, uh, washers and bolts aren't included with with your uh, motorcycle list, so that's pretty awesome. So uh, I had to get the tractor supply bolts out. So we went from metric to SAE. Shit, I was tricking myself, you guys. I guess these U-bolts, they didn't really tell you in the instructions, but it looks like uh, they go right here to like strap your bike down or something. So, I'll put these in. That's where she maxes out at. That's cool. So I guess that's the safe position. I like how this goes down a little bit. I'm probably gonna get the bike out soon, so we'll, you know, change the oil or whatever uh, with it, how it's standing, but uh, I'm sure I'm going to start making my modifications after that. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, tell me how you like the lift. I like it. Um, and then tell me how you like the video.